Your mission, to keep your platoon and its vehicles moving ahead. The solution, a medium girder bridge. A completed bridge consists of several parts. The far shore front end of bridge, including the junction panels, several bays, the near shore rear end of bridge, and ramps, decking, and curbs. Your platoon leader determines how the bridge will be designed. Your platoon will be separated into several crews, each of which is responsible for completing specific tasks on certain parts of the bridge. Pallet loads are arranged in accordance with the site layout from the FM. This varies depending on the type of bridge you are building. Place a roller beam assembly 0.5 meters in front of the F prime peg. Connect two longitudinal girders to the front roller beam. These girders are sometimes known as ladders. Secure them with dowels. A second roller beam assembly is placed 15 feet behind the front roller beam. Secure the longitudinal girders to the back roller beam. Check to see that the entire roller beam assembly is level. If it is not level on all sides, use a jack on each corner for adjustment. Position the bank seat beam close to the front roller beam. Slide two end taper panels along the rear roller beam until their front jaws are positioned on the second longitudinal girder back from the front roller beam. Lift the bank seat beam onto the end taper panels. Insert panel pins from the outside of the bridge toward the inside to hold the end taper panels in place. Connect the top panels to the bank seat beam. Secure each with panel pins. Raise each top panel slightly to insert a panel pin between each panel and the end taper panel. This will help provide the best angle for connecting the junction panel. Connect a second panel to each of the first top panels using panel pins to secure their placement. Align the junction panels with the second top panels. Use guide pins to secure each junction panel. First at the top, then at the bottom. One of your fellow soldiers may need to push up and in on the bottom of the junction panel for leverage. Now connect two supporting sway braces. One connects from the right-hand side of the bank seat beam to the left-end taper panel. The other connects from the left-end taper panel to the right-end taper panel. Use the sway brace pins to lock all these components into place. Using the launching nose pin, connect the launching nose roller to the bank seat beam. Begin constructing the first bay of the bridge by adding the bay one top panels. Secure them with a headless pin. Secure the bay one bottom panels. Do the same for the top and bottom panels of bays two and three. Construct the launching nose cross girder. Connect the light launching nose component to the heavy component. Then slide this assembly into place atop the launching nose cross girder. Attach this assembly with pins to the launching nose roller. After adding the fourth bay, use bracing pins to connect two supporting sway braces continuing the zigzag pattern. Continue adding bridge bays and sway braces to form the remainder of the bridge.
You can begin assembling the rear end of the bridge, connecting components as you did at the front end of the bridge. Junction panels, top panels, end taper panels, and bank seat beam. Don't forget to make sure the rollers are level. It is easier to pin the bridge parts once the panels are level. A crew member drives the truck that pushes the bridge toward the far shore. The far bank crew crosses the bridge where they'll begin setting up the landing roller pedestal. Place the full extended jack on the tilting platform in the base of the landing roller pedestal. Remember to practice extra caution when aligning the landing roller pedestal. Its nickname is the guillotine because it is extremely heavy and has been known to slip, crushing soldiers' hands and feet. Position the landing roller pedestal with its base centered under and parallel to the launching nose, nine inches in front of the F peg. Lower the far shore bridge into position. Remove the landing roller pedestal and the complete launching nose assembly. The far shore crew walks back across the bridge to the near shore. Jack up the bridge to remove the front roller beam assembly. Then lower the bridge to the ground. Attach the ramps. Position them together at the center of the bank seat beam, then slide each outwards. Start placing the deck units. Walk up the left ramp and place the unit down. Then walk across the deck and return to shore on the right ramp. Continue until all the deck units are installed. Install the bridge's curbs by hooking each curb onto the top panel rails, sometimes called the rain gutters. Your bridge construction is now complete and ready for inspection and approval by your unit OIC and NCOIC. You have now completed your mission and the Army can move ahead.